If you are a BitTorrent user, you may want to consider running all of your torrenting through a VPN, and I'll show you how to do that in this video. Specifically, I'll be setting this up on a Synology NAS using Container Manager and the Hajin Docker Transmission OpenVPN Docker image. One of the things you'll need before getting into the setup is a subscription to a supported VPN provider. The Hajin Docker Transmission OpenVPN project does have a web page with a list of almost 50 supported VPN providers, and I'll leave a link to the web page in the description below. If you have a subscription to one of these providers, you'll be all set. And in my case, I've been using Private Internet Access, or PIA, for some time, and luckily for me, it is one of the supported VPN providers by the project, so I'll be using PIA when I go through the setup in this video. If you don't have a subscription with a supported VPN provider, consider using PIA, and you can use my referral link listed below if you would like. The only other requirement is that you'll need to have Container Manager installed, so from within DSM, I'll bring up the Packet Center and search for and install Container Manager. Now, with everything in place, what I'll do is create the folders that I'll be using with the container that I'll be setting up by bringing up FileStation. Then, under the Docker Shared folder, I'll create a Transmission OpenVPN subfolder. Then, within that folder, I'll also create a config and data subfolder. At this point, I'll bring up Container Manager, click on Project, then select Create. I'll give the project a name, set the path to the Transmission OpenVPN folder that was just created, set source to create docker compose.jaml, and paste in the example docker compose.jaml file that I got from the project's webpage that you'll find in the description below. Now I'll edit the volume settings for my config, pointing the data and config subdirectories that I created earlier to the corresponding directories within the container. Under Environment, I'll configure my OpenVPN settings. The example uses PIA for the provider, so I'll leave that as is. For the OpenVPN config, I'll use US underscore West which I got by downloading the PIA openvpn.zip file from their website, which I'll link down below, and unzip the file. This folder includes a bunch of configuration files for various locations to choose from, and like I mentioned, I chose to use the US underscore West location. Back in the setup, I'll enter in my PIA username and password, then enter in my local network as well. I'll leave the remainder as is and click Next. I'll click Next once again on this Web Portal Settings window. Then click Done on this Summary window to complete the setup and start the project. Once the image is downloaded and extracted, the container will be created and started, and we'll see a pop-up notification that the project was successfully built. Now I'll open up another browser tab and enter in the IP address of my Synology NAS along with port 9091 to bring up the transmission web UI. At this point I'll be able to either choose a torrent file I already have or enter in a URL of a torrent I'd like to download from. One final thing I'd like to cover is how to verify that the transmission OpenVPN container is using the VPN. There are a few different ways to do this, but what I'll do is use the command line to figure this out. So first I'll enable the SSH service by bringing up Control Panel, select Terminal and SNMP, and make sure the SSH service is enabled. Then I'll bring up a terminal window and SSH into my Synology NAS. Once I'm logged in, I'll issue this command, which will return the public IP address assigned to me by my internet service provider. Next, I'll issue the same command, but from within the transmission OpenVPN container. First, I'll get the container name by issuing the sudo docker ps command. 
and I'll run this command replacing the container name placeholder with the name of the container from the previous command. We can see that the IP address is different from the one above, so we know that the transmission OpenVPN container is using the VPN. I've also created a number of VPN videos that you may be interested in, and you can start with these listed here on screen. Also, if you would like to support my work, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.